What's up everybody, John Anthony from John Anthony Lifestyle. I wanna make a quick video regarding the topic of what to do when the girl does not respond, okay? Guys are always messaging me about this. She didn't respond to my text, she didn't respond to my uh, request for a date, whatever it may be, okay? Regular girls can not respond. Um, new girls in the pipeline cannot respond. Girls that you've been on a couple dates with can stop responding. So what do you do? Now, a lot of the conventional wisdom in the, in the community and in the, the dating uh, teaching world says you should continue to fire what's called value texts, okay? So the guy might be like, hey, blah, blah, how's your day or some bullshit like that, right? And then the girl doesn't respond. Six hours later, he's going to be like, yeah, I was just at the store and blah, you know, so he's moving, he's basically changing the topic and putting out what he, what he is assuming to be value, okay? And I'm going to go over why I think this is wrong, okay? And what the correct solution is. Before I continue, if you are not already subscribed, press the subscribe button right now, motherfucker. Five new videos a week, Sunday through Thursday. Uh, make sure you press the bell button. That'll alert you to every new video that comes out. So, what is the problem here? Okay. First of all, if the girl is ignoring you, okay, this is happening all the time, you're probably not high value enough, okay, and you're probably getting weak phone numbers, which can be symptomatic of a whole bunch of other problems. Um, you should always be working to improve your value, always be working to improve what you bring to the table, uh, your, what's called your SMV, your sexual market value, okay? That means having a decent haircut, having decently, decently trimmed facial hair, having decent clothes, et cetera, et cetera. But I'm gonna go into specific situations. So I think it's wrong to send another value text or just to change the thread and act like she didn't ignore you because she did. Now, yes, lots of girls are very busy in their day-to-day -day life and maybe she didn't ignore you on purpose, okay? Maybe she just got busy, but I think it looks, speaking of value, I think it looks low value when you message someone with a new thread when they ignored your last thread. Like if you ask someone a question, a bunch of time passes, and then you go and ask her another question. So, I mean, think about like, if, if, for those of you watching, think about if a, if a girl or a person has ever done that to you, right? Like say a girl messages you, you're attracted to her, you're a little bit busy, you don't get back to her. And then uh, she hits you up again and starts talking about some other bullshit, right? It's going to cause your attraction probably to go down a little bit. And then say, don't reply to that. And she starts texting about other stuff. Now she just looks needy. She looks clingy. She looks like she's investing more than you are. Okay. And speaking of investment, the amount, like the length of the text that you send relative to hers, like if she's replying with one or two word answers and you're writing these giant paragraphs, that's bad also. Okay, what, what gave me the thought to make this video is in my mastermind group, there was a guy that he was writing these like really long paragraphs and then the girl would give like one or two word answers really delayed and then he would like reply with like a giant paragraph again. And then like he would basically, he would like in one of those situations, he asked her to hang out. She ignored. Then he sent some long value thing. And then I think he asked her to hang out again in like a third message. And like, you're just fucked at that point. Like your value has been like thrown into the floor. So um, what you want to do instead is what I call non-confrontational call outs. Okay, so... In my, for those of you that have my product or have gone through my live trainings, all of the core of my model and the core of game is compliance or non-compliance, okay? When you approach and open, the girl can comply or not comply, be receptive or not receptive. When you go to kiss the girl, when you go to isolate the girl in the venue, when you go to take her home, when you go to ask her for a phone number, any one of these situations, she can either be compliant or non-compliant. I don't even know which fucking front-facing camera to look at there since there's two. <laughs> Okay, I'll look, I'll look in between them. Um, 
So when the girl ignores a message, and, and by ignore, I don't mean like she didn't reply within an hour or half hour. People are busy, etc. Like you don't want to like start fucking jumping down her throat just because she ignored um, for like a half hour or for an hour. You want to give her some time to respond. But say that a bunch of time passes, rather than move on to a new thread, you kind of want to address that last thing that you asked. So one thing that I that I do, I got this from a guy, he was like 350 count, and then he finally got married, and he was going on tons of dates. And I was like, what are you, what, what are you doing? Because I've used a bunch of different strategies, but I was like, what are you doing when the girl doesn't reply? He says, I'll wait a little bit, and then he'll, he'll do dot, dot, question mark. Okay, so that's what I do. It's pretty effective. So it's basically like, again, it's a non-confrontational. It's technically a call out because you're like, what, you're basically saying like, what the fuck? Without saying what the fuck. All right. And no, I don't think that's needy to put a question mark. You asked her something. It doesn't, ma- it doesn't matter if she's a hot girl or like a really high value girl or really attractive girl. It doesn't fucking matter. You asked her something. She didn't reply. A bunch of time passed. Dot, dot, question mark. If she ignores that... A lot of times I'll I'll throw in like a little dig, like um, I'll say the award for best texter goes to dot, dot, dot. And that's kind of like, you know, <laughs> pointing out that they're fucking terrible at texting. Now, if a girl ignores that, then it's pretty much not worth pursuing you can there's still other texts you can send like say this is a a chick that's like pretty full package you know and just throw it away and you have some hope that you can set some boundaries with her and not get her acting like this all the time but i will warn you that when a girl is acting like this typically this is like how she acts all the time and you're going to be dealing with this kind of shit all the time like each time you set plans like she's just going to be like a flake fucking annoyance um but one other text you can send if she ignores the award for best texter goes to you can send, um, why are you ignoring, question mark. So that's that's kind of the sequence I go through. After the first ignore, dot, dot, question mark. After, in a dot, dot, question mark, you can also type so, S-O, dot, dot, question mark. So it's like, hey, like, we should get, like, like say you're messing back and forth and you're like, we should get coffee sometime this week. Yeah. And she doesn't reply, like 12 hours go by or some shit, like 8 to 12 hours. Now you can type so, dot, dot, question mark. If she ignores that, like another 12 hours goes by, then you can say the award for best texter goes to, dot, dot, dot. And if she ignores that, why are you ignoring, question mark. In general, you don't really want to waste too much time. Like if if a girl is ignoring, like... You can give them the benefit of the doubt if it's just one time and it's not happen and it's not like a frequent thing. So, because because girls are busy, like like the real stat, like from a marketing standpoint, the real stat statistic on how often people are checking their phones is a hundred times a day. So she saw your message almost guaranteed. Okay, and let, if she's like a super popular chick and she's just getting blown up, she's gonna have like a whole queue. Like a lot of chicks blow up my phone, and I'll have like a whole queue. Especially if, have, especially if I have a busy day, like if I'm, like I get intravenous vitamins and different shit where I'm not even like looking at my phone. If I have like some back-to-back shit where like I'm not able to be using my phone for a couple hours, two or three hours, then when I finally come back to it, there'll be like a whole shitload of messages and I might have something else to do. Maybe I have to meet a girl and then I will, um, you know, only respond to to a few of those. Speaking of which, there's a girl here. Um... <clears throat> Okay, let's wrap this up. Um, but yeah, um, hold on one sec. Give me two seconds. I'm just ending a call. <laughs> two seconds. <laughs> Shut here out. Um, okay, so use that sequence. Uh, I will make a follow-on video about. You know how to how to handle it if it's a, a regular you're seeing or whatever. If it's a regular you can get a little bit more confrontational because that's unacceptable. Like with a new lead or something like this, there's nothing invested and there's not there's not really uh, you don't really have the right to be acting acting all crazy 
when there's an ignore. Okay, but just work more volume. That's the solution usually. Okay, thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. See you later.